Hey all good afternoon this is Karthik from Nifty Analysis uh today I'm here to actually give you a few examples on how to identify trend uh there are many queries of of late on my uh Twitter and on my email stating that how to identify a trend as everyone tells us that trend is your friend follow the trend but when it comes to understand the trend uh it's too complex while trading on the intraday so that was the question so here I am answering you uh with a uh, few examples as well So if you are new to trading sometimes even the best of the traders uh fail to identify the trend so it's a very common factor so do not be so afraid or like you know uh confused by yourself that if you don't understand the trend so it is a simple technique uh i will show you uh, show this technique in a more visual way so you will understand it like when when that happens what you should do so here are the three points condition is look for the trend uh condition 2 is wait for the price to be near the band any of these bands and then take the trade so here i picked up cadilla and uh you all know cadilla is a pharma stock and the reason for me to picking up cadilla is simple the volatility and the higher side the volatility of this particular stock is 5.6 or 5.7 uh on the lower side it comes to 1.0506 i think so at an average it is somewhere close to 2.5 so that is where uh my interest is uh what does this mean what does this mean is even you are technically right on this sometimes uh hitting the stop losses <coughs> on the higher side so my very reason to pick this stock is to if i teach you how to trade this stock uh you can trade any stock so There are few stocks like this, which I will cover in my next video. The lot size of Cadilla is two thousand two hundred. So even if you take a three rupees uh, target, it is still at standing at six thousand six hundred bucks a day. Uh, so let me come quickly to how to identify a trend. So uh, if you are trading on a higher time frames, it is very easy. You might use two hundred moving averages, hundred moving averages. That's where our technical uh, books tell us. Or even if you do a course, that's what it tells you. Use a moving average to identify trend. I'm not moving. I'm not using any uh, moving averages or something. Uh, I'm going to use something which is already part of Bumi 2.0. So, guys, you all must be aware of these levels, the reversals, or you know, uh, we call it as with many many names. So, what does it this say? So, how to identify a trend here? You know, typically when the red band is closing below the red band the next day, I mean the previous day's red band is higher. than today's uh red band that means we should only look for the stocks which are we should only we, uh, we should only look for the sell in the stocks and we are not uh, trying to do a buy in this uh so i'll i'll tell you how and what happens here so this this is a stock which has given you a sell and uh, from there uh the trend started falling and after that you got a Uh, the red band open just below this red that means it is a uh, full downtrend because it is it was in the trend since um 11 from the uh 4th of september and there's a small piece of green here but um after that it was a beautiful red it means that it's a downtrend and the next day the downtrend is confirmed by the red bar opening below this red bar and guys this is constant once it forms it's going to stay the entire day this levels are not going to change for the whole day so you can actually take them into your <coughs> picture while you are trading it and now you short something here though the zone is not here the very reason we are taking the zone because it has already been in the zone and from there it started falling you enter somewhere close to here 379 and your stop loss would be 381 look at this beautiful fall 379 to 369 that is uh almost close to 20 22000 uh it's a 10 rupee move 10 point move i would say so now the next day what happened next day the same thing the red happened below the red so it means that we should only look for the stocks to short this is red zone a beautiful red zone though i don't take it because it is the second point says wait for the price to be near the band and the price is not near the band because Uh, if I take it here at three seventy, my stop loss would be at three seventy five. That's a five rupee stop loss on two thousand two hundred. So that's almost close to ten thousand uh, stop loss. You know, which is uh, not good because if we are winning, we have to win large. If we are losing, we have to lose small. That's the whole way of making money in the markets. 
So the price was not there, though it was a downtrend and there was a long red zone and a small griddle of uh, green here and the pixels of green here and the red here and the continuation of the red. So everything stated the stock is going to fall and it fell, but still it is not in our radar to take because our second point tells us wait for the price to be near the band. So again a downtrend and you can actually short the stock here. And the very reason is the, uh, the red zone has already been formed and it has been there and the green zone has been done and it's trying to touch this level 366 and 367 for two rupees we can play and it has actually come down and hit this point of 362 and from there it just bounced the very reason is it didn't pierce the stock through the zone the same thing it was a green but we never got any uh, green confirmation though we can say that we have a green because after the large amount of green screen which we are seeing here so we could take a buy shot here at 368.65 and the stop loss is 367 it never gave us our target on the red but it gave us something maybe like a one or two rupees here and after that it started falling so i would assume that people who haven't actually changed their stop loss to entry they would have hit a stop loss how much was the stop loss 368.75 and 366.90 that's 367 somewhere close to look at your stop loss you're only going to lose this amount, 2,200 or 2,600, you know, sometimes when you keep a stop loss and it hits, it's always more than your stop loss. So that's how the market orders are placed. So what happened the next day? The next day, again, the band has opened just below the red band, again, confirming us there is a beautiful downtrend. We can look to short somewhere close here, but uh, the green zone told us not to do. But from 366, it has given us 361, that's six rupees. Could have taken a small uh, risk here, but I would, I'm not here to tell you to take a risk or do anything fancy. I'm here to tell you exactly a um, place where rule-based trading and it went up. So that's, that's, that's the example, guys. And I can also show you some bullish examples. So this is, this is a perfect bullish example. The green band opened above the green band and there's a zone and from 375 to 382, that's seven rupees. That's 7 rupees into 2200. You can do the math. The same thing happened. The stock started falling beautifully. And from here, you have a red zone and you can short here 376 to 367. Again, at 10 rupees, again, a 22,000 um, rupee move. And this is interesting. The price has been oscillating in between these bands. That means people are not so interested in selling this. As soon as you see the larger amount of the reds here, stating that the stock is only going to fall because you see only the glimpse of green glimpse of green few glimpse of green but the large amounts of red so when you see something like that though they are constant here you can actually try to sell the stock because it's going to give from 386 through 370 a 16 rupee move on a losses of 2200 and uh, I hope you understand what I'm talking. So this is it guys this is how you identify a trend when you're trading at the intraday and uh, if you have any doubts, please reach me. I'm available on my DM. I'm also available on my emails. So you guys have everything. See you guys. Um, let's see you back on tomorrow's webinar.